What is up, y'all? Meyer Assassin. It is 2.40. 2.40 in the fucking morning. I'm on my way down to the shore, chasing after sick of deer with the old smoke pole. Uh, got a stand set up the other week during uh, bow season. It's real big stack. Oh fuck. Go down. Go down, you son of a bitch. Go down. Hunting, you never know if you made the right decision or not until it's over. I've hunted so hard to get a sicko, and of course, even more so, I want a stag that looked like a big stag. <laughs> Can't say I've seen a whole lot, that's the first stag I've ever seen from the tree, but it looked like a big one. I heard him crashing around through the water, and he was coming straight toward me. The thing is, is my wind is headed that way. I was expecting the deer to come out from this way. He came from where I came from this morning. Wind is going toward him. Well, more this way, he's that way, but still, it's going that direction. I was worried he might bust me. I think when I clicked back the hammer, he stopped and looked. coming a straight line toward me there's more frag you would hit so I wanted to hit him there in the open this fucking muscle loader I got 150 grain of powder and it damn near knocked me out the fucking tree smoke cleared I saw him on the ground flopping around and then uh, he stood back up and started walking into that frag um fuck Definitely didn't want to see him get back up. I was going to try to reload and put another in him, but he, he disappeared. Um, I know right about where he was standing. I have it on video and all, so 
I'm gonna give him a little bit before I get down and go look for him, but I think I just trailed a big stack. Whew. Let's hope modern assassins, let's hope I got him, man. Whew. All right, so um, just a little update. It's only been about 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes since I shot that deer, but now that the initial adrenaline's coming, everything's kind of setting in, and wow, I mean, what a hunt. It, it, I had the camera on and turned to my right side because I could hear splashing, I could hear reeds, and it's a fucking squirrel. Go figures, not even in the whitetail woods, but the sick of swamp that the squirrels fuck with you, okay? He's running across this limb that's partially touching the water, so when he runs across it, it makes the water splash. I'm thinking there's a sicko walking right here, 20 yards from me, not even 15 feet from me. And at the same time, that big stag is coming through the marsh where I came in. Um, now he didn't take the same line, he's about 30 yards off of the direct line that I came in. But I just can't believe he came from where I came from and where the wind is blowing. Oh, it is blowing a little more this way than that, but you don't, you don't take a chance. Especially with the marsh ghost and like I said, everything's just kind of setting in now all the time I've put in, all the work I've done scouting, all the hours driving, um, how miserable sore I was after getting this stand out here. It, it kicked my fucking ass. And uh, the marsh has been giving me a whooping and I think I may take something home uh, with me today from her. Uh, besides just another ass whooping. Um, I'm hoping I got a stag looked like a nice one like I said I've never shot a sick of deer but I've seen pictures and you know once you get an idea of what you're looking at uh, I'm pretty sure he was a six point he wasn't like some giant monster but I'm pretty sure it was a six point stag and it's just gonna it's so hard to sit here right now and wait but since he got back up I'm just gonna let him go and uh get down in a little bit, go see what I can find. Hopefully not spend a long afternoon searching. And this is what that deer went into. And with all this water, too much of a risk to carry the camera. I'm leaving my gear here, I'm gonna put a GoPro on my head, but re leave everything else here and uh, get to tracking. Meyer Sasson, let's go get a stag.
This, I just said it, but hardest hunt I've ever been on. I've put in a lot of time. Not only is this a two and a half, three hour drive for me to get down here, but uh, I mean, it's a couple miles back, but this chunk of ground that we're at right here, this is, uh, the bark's falling off, but there's some rubs on this side, some rubs on a the tree there, and on this little chunk of ground right here, it's just track on top of track on top of track. And this little chunk is one of the reasons I hung where I did. My set's only about 35, 40 yards that way. And uh, it's the closest, closest living tree I could get a stand in, literally. And it paid off. I mean, I, I can't believe I was lucky enough to get a stag. I mean, he's got some gruff on the back of his neck here, which is awesome. Uh, and a three by three, uh, I, I couldn't be happier. It's not the biggest one in the world, but this is public land. This is one hell of a trophy to me. Everybody knows these as marsh ghosts and it's because they just appear and disappear um, and reappear again because I was only about five or six feet from this, from this guy when I jumped him up out of his bed. Something about this muzzleloader, if the safety's on, you can't cock the hammer. So I was going to cock the hammer back and it wouldn't let me cock the hammer. I punched that, cocked it back. By that time he was running and like a ghost disappeared again. And I knew if I let him get away or get far, that that was that, that I wouldn't see him again. So I dropped my walking stick and I just started running after him as fast as I could. And <clears throat> ran him into a big wall of frag and when he ran up against a tree i dropped his ass um i, I i'm so lucky to have even found him um he wasn't more than maybe 15 yards from where i shot him uh he didn't go far at all but i mean it's it's a definite gut shot i i pulled it he was walking um i was bracing myself so i didn't fall out the tree which i still almost did uh, you know, I'm putting three grains of pellet, 150 grain of powder in here, and I mean, that's why it knocked his ass over and rolled him around a little bit. And, uh, you know, I put the second one up here and it dropped him, and uh, night, night for the marsh ghost. My first sicka and a stag. I, I just can't believe it. Just so cool. Uh, I still got, I, I still got a lot of work to do. Uh, so this is by far the hardest hunt I've ever been on and probably definitely one of the most rewarding. I mean to, to have gotten it on film and six pointer man, three by three, Marsh Ghost set it all, Modern Assassins, there's a snake crawling in the weeds right there behind the camera. I gotta get to gutting this thing and get out of here. Public land trophy love it and for sure I will be eating the heart of this beast he deserves that to survive in these conditions is something special and I'm gonna consume some of that minor assassins